Hey guys, my Jeffries here, and welcome to episode 12 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Uh, if I go back a screen again, there you go. In our last match, we won 4-3. Uh, some more fantastic performances from our young midfielders. An exceptional performance from Carino. Uh, however, there were a couple of injuries, and I'm sure our new screen coming up will tell us the extent of those injuries. Um, I'm trying to remember who it was that went off. Cartwright went off, that's right. Uh, Jones also went off. And I think it was Bobo who went off. So we'll have a little look and see what happened. Uh, my offer for Andrade was accepted, but you can see further up that he's chosen to join Wimbledon, so we'll completely ignore him. Quintarka has rejected a new deal. I am hoping that promotion will change their minds on that one, though. Kaminguez plays for Hartlepool. Well, that's fantastic for him. Uh, there's us beating them again. Carino, Francois, Huntingdon. Cartwright is out for between 12 days and 2 weeks with a twisted knee. They are painful. And that's it, actually. We got away with the other injuries, which is good. We got lucky. Um, actually, I think Jones was the last match. The match before the one just now, so I don't know why I brought him up. Anyway. Not the point. Skip through as much of this as we can, as quick as we can. Uh, something I'm thinking of doing after the, maybe the next match. We'll see what's com who's coming up in the next match, actually, before I uh, decide how I'm going to do this. But what I'm thinking is after... I was going to say after the FA Trophy round, but that's all the way down there. So I think we'll do maybe this next game against Bishop Stortford and then I'll skip the Dorchester match I won't film it and then we'll do the Concord Rangers game at home uh, I'd much rather do home matches away matches can be exciting but home you've got the crowd behind you and things like that so yeah plus Concord Rangers I believe they've only just been promoted into this level of football um, they've got a PE teacher I think as their manager They've actually got a really good team. I'm quite impressed with the quality of their team. Uh, like I said a few episodes ago, I did a, a few test career modes before I started this series. And uh, Concord Rangers was one of the teams I chose. And I was actually top of the table with them at the point that I decided to start doing this. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely potential in there. Maybe not enough for me to actually sign any of their players, but there's definitely some potential in there. Anyway, I'm doing my usual trick and gassing. Carino rejects new one-year deal. That's quite worrying, considering how good he's played recently. But then he's got a two-year deal. So he's saying that the squad isn't strong enough, but I think he'll change his mind. Francois, I have the same opinion. I mean, he's just he's just played in a match against, well, a match with them, I should say. He knows how good his team is. He's in training with them on a daily basis as well. So uh, maybe a bit harsh for him to say that, particularly if it comes out in the public domain. Which hopefully it didn't. Uh, so yet again, I'm I'm guessing. Johnston has rejected a new deal. Man, yeah, might be not so bad actually. I mean, okay, he scored on his debut, and I might be being a bit harsh, but he did cost us a goal with a horrific mistake. So uh, at this point, he's still on probation. He could end up being uh, sold at the end of the season. Because again, I like to keep my squads together for as long as I can, but. At the end of the season, anyone who I think wasn't really good enough, I'm sure there'll be teams actually in the Football League still who'd look to take them off my hands. So uh, we'll see what happens there as well. Good crowd expected. 3,000 tickets at Woodside Park have been sold for the match against me. It's because they know the champions are coming, that's why. 14 players called up for international duty. And what you have to remember here, boys and girls, is I am in the Skrill South. And I've got 14 players called up for international duty. And not just that. Under 21s, under 21s, under 21s, under 21s, under 20. They're all under 21s pretty much. Apart from these guys here who are under 19s and these two who are under 20s. But I think that's because of South American. That's how they do it. So yeah, Liam King, who hasn't even played a match for us yet, is in the England under 19s. So, I think we've got Bishop Stortford coming up now. I think we should go for another complete squad rotation, and I mean this time a total rotation. So, I'm going to put King in goal. Um, we're going to bring Jones back into 
No, we're going to bring Robinson in for Cartwright, first of all. We're going to bring Jones back in at left back. Um, let's bring Johnston back, but let's bring him in for Thompson. Uh, we're going to have Keith Wilson up front instead of Francois. We're going to have Douglas Pringle coming in for Federick. Um, Via for Grant, yeah. Marshall. Yeah, let's start Marshall instead of Bobo. And let's start McConnor instead of Delamond. And we'll bring them off the bench, I think. Um, now, Douglas Pringle isn't the most fit of our players. McGregor's actually fitter. But then it's a question of... They've both played in the last match. Let's have a look at our team, actually. So we've got King, Villa, Robinson, Hogan, Jones, McConnor, Douglas Pringle, Carino, Johnston, Marshall, Wilson. And then a bench of O'Brien, Grant, Delamond, Bobo, Drewson. Now, there's something I'm missing there, and that is a centre-back on the bench. So, Drewson will drop out. And this here guy, Joseph Fenty who I haven't heard of either. He's one of these, uh, the game automatically gives you some, a certain number of players to start with. Uh, he'll come onto the bench just so we've got a sub centre back and he can also play at left back, which is good. Let's do it. Liam King, he's actually going to be our goalkeeper. I know he's going to be our goalkeeper, Mark. Why did I say that? He's going to be our captain, is what I meant to say. Uh, still no sign of the goalkeeper home kit, but we've got our actual home kit out. Considering we're playing against a team in blue, that could be quite confusing. Anyway, let's let's get down to it. Let's just see how it goes this first half. The kit clash is tremendous. Uh, your guess is as good as mine as to when we do and don't have the ball. Well, we'll see when King has the ball. It's very hard to miss bright pink on the football pitch. Who's that? Douglas Pringles chased it down. He finds Via, who's in a lot of space. He picks out Carino, who's also in a lot of space, and has the trickery to get past his man. Couldn't manage it that time, but comes back to Via, who passes it into O'Connor. He holds his man off well, picks out Douglas Pringle. I'm not really sure why he decided to pass it that way, but Via's managed to recover it. That's a good ball. Wilson. Oh, okay. That was close. That was close. Right, Via with the corner. Wilson's head. Oh dear. I think the less said about that one, the better. I think actually, credit to Wilson there. He got into a good area. He attacked the ball at the near post. I think he just lost his bearings a little bit, which is why he put that one wide. As opposed to, uh, he miscued it. But actually, if he'd been like a yard further back, that would have been a really good header on target. So... Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock him too much for that one. Oh. One nil to Bishop Stortford. That that was just poor defending. Uh, where was Veer? Was he Veer actually on a centre when he crossed that one? And he sort of just come back. Didn't really do much there to stop the cross coming in and he basically got three players in a the line there and none of them picking up Simmons, which is poor. Really, really poor. So we're 1-0 down. I think this is the first time, actually, that we've actually gone behind in a match. Yeah, I think it's the first time we've gone behind in a match. We've drawn a level a few times and we've taken the lead, but never gone behind. So this is new, new territory for us. But we've got players like Carino who have the ability to turn it around. And that's a really good ball to Wilson. Oh, he's missed. How has he missed that? Oh, man. 
That was right at him. Oh, Jesus. It's one of those ones where if he'd mishit it, it probably would have gone in. He hit that so clean in the wrong direction. I know it's there as well. It says McConnor's taken a knock. We should be able to shake it off. We get a lot of players taking knocks during matches. They might have to have a, a little word with the uh, chief of referees, whoever that is at the moment, just to say, you know, we're getting a lot of injuries here. Why is there no free kicks being given? Anyway, we're, we're building from the back again. It's something that I've learned from playing FIFA is that even when you're behind you shouldn't panic and be desperately trying to score you should just stick to your own game plan especially if you're only one goal behind you should just stick to your game plan keep doing what you were doing it was working for you before it will probably work for you afterwards as well there's Wilson he cuts inside and there you go see you stick to your guns you keep persevering you give the ball to your best player and he smacks it into the back of the net 1-1 one, one. good finish Nice little uh, bit of a feign there to get inside as well. Running away from goal. Little jinx inside there. Hit it first time. Caught the keeper by surprise. Good finish. Uh, Hogan is picked up a bit of an injury. It says he should be able to shake it off actually. So uh, yeah, he seems to be getting better. We'll leave it for a little bit and see how he gets on. Uh, so we're, we're approaching half time. Um, things going a lot better than they were before. And yeah, that is half time. So I think we'll let Huntington just give the players a bit of a dressing down. Yeah, he's saying let's give the performance that the fans deserve, basically. Uh, Hogan, I think we're going to have to su uh, sacrifice. Bring Fenty on. Just because he is injured and, you know, he could be a bit of a liability if he's running around injured. So, yeah, we'll bring Fenty on. We'll see what happens in the second half. Yeah, we're whizzing through these matches now because of the whole uh, we're doing key highlights almost rather than uh, extended. So yeah, that's a foul by Marshall. Not too good challenge. Oh, excuse me, yawning a lot at the moment. Um, hopefully that free kick doesn't cost us. Well, you know, I've said things like that before, just as the ball's rippling the back of the net. That's better. That's a good counter-attack. Right, Johnston needs to do something good here. Can't mess this one up. Good ball across. Grigno with a good take. Oh, fantastic finish. Okay, Johnston. I think he's uh, redeemed himself for that mistake he made two games ago. That's a... I mean, Carino, I can see him being a match winner for us on any day. That's fired across at him. Look at that first touch to get away from the defender. A little touch there to settle himself and then just rifles it in off the keeper. Good finish. Good finish. Um, yeah, Huntingdon's noticed the same thing as me. Uh, Douglas Pringle was having a pretty poor game. He seems to have picked it up a little bit now. Yeah, uh, I think maybe around the 70th minute we'll start looking at substitutions again. Um, actually, oh, keep yawning. I'm so sorry. <coughs> we'll bring, uh, let's bring Dalamond on, and we'll bring Douglas. That's not Douglas Pringle. It's my mouse. It's a bit jumpy. Bring Douglas Pringle off. We'll have we'll have a little uh, try with that. I mean, you you can't really complain when you're bringing Dalamond on, can you? He's he's the second best player in the team. So, yeah, that should uh, just shore up the midfield a little bit more. Maybe help preserve our lead. Maybe help increase our lead. I suppose we haven't seen the spark of genius from Delamond yet that we've seen from Bobo. It's Fenty injured now as well. Oh, brilliant. Not good at all. Poor Fenty. I think what I'll do after this game is I'll give Fenty a, a professional deal so that he trains with the first team as well. So I think they're sort of on a, not even part-time, more of like an amateur status at the moment. So they sort of turn up on a Saturday and play the match and then go back to their day jobs. Whereas if, they're, if they've got a contract, this becomes more of their first job. Um, 
Yeah, and then they'll, they'll do a bit more training and improve their fitness. That's what we got. We've got a minute and a bit left. We've now got four minutes of injury time. We've got a corner as well, which is always good to see. Oh, McConnor. Kicks it straight at the defender there. That's unlucky, actually. We want Marshall with the throw. Delamond in acres of space. Marshall's in acres of space. That's a poor cross from Marshall there. That's McConnor. Plays it into Carino. Good effort and good save from the keeper. When you, when you get to the end of a match like that and you're having lots of chances, you think the time's going quickly and then you realise it's only a minute's going. I'm not just filming for that. That was a good header from Wilson. And actually, I think the referee's going to end the match now because that's four minutes. It's four minutes, ref. There we go. 2 1. Philip Johnson has definitely improved since the last game. You can see there he's. Well, actually, he only got a match rating of 6.4. Uh, no, he didn't. Where does that come from? Oh, that's how many kilometres he's run. Or how many miles he's run. Uh, he's got a match rating of 7.4, which is much better. Uh, Carino getting 7.6 and the Man of the Match award, which he deserves, in my opinion. But yeah, we keep our unbeaten start. But not just unbeaten, I think we've won every match as well. So yeah, fantastic. Right. Again, this has been a long episode, but uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos and enjoying my content. Um, I'll do the whole spiel again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, the little red box should be below my video right now. If you have subscribed to my channel, then thank you guys for your continued support, and I hope to keep bringing out some fantastic videos for you guys to enjoy. Um, that's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys, and until next time, I will see you soon.